Today, we're going to be discussing some amazing discoveries and some equally fascinating mysteries surrounding Saturn and its moons. These discoveries have completely changed their respective fields and introduced new ways of thinking, potentially ushering in a new age of observing and measuring our solar system. The centuries-old search for life elsewhere in the universe led scientists to scour Saturn and its moons. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at these recent Saturn discoveries. A team of scientists announced they found life on Saturn's moon, Enceladus. First discovered in 1789 by William Herschel, Enceladus is one of many of Saturn's moons. Not much other than this discovery was known about Enceladus, until Voyager 1 passed nearby, and then the Cassini spacecraft flew nearby, enabling us to study the almost all-ocean moon in much more detail. Enceladus is perhaps seemingly insignificant when compared to Saturn's larger moons, specifically the much-talked-about Titan. Enceladus is in fact only Saturn's sixth largest moon and would easily be overlooked. However, Enceladus is fascinating and really encompasses the fact that life could really be found anywhere. Almost completely covered in ice, Enceladus has an enormous ocean underneath that icy crust that is home to some of the most interesting recent scientific discoveries. In late 2019, a team of scientists announced they had found what's described as an organic molecule, thought to be essential for the development and presence of life. This discovery was made on Saturn's moon Enceladus. Head scientist Dr. Nozaire and his team were analysing data collected from the core of Enceladus by NASA's Cassini spacecraft when they found a tiny organic compound that would be found deep in Enceladus's ocean. The compound is found in amino acids that are also found on Earth. This indicated that this moon of Saturn is potentially one of the most hospitable places for life as we know it in an observable universe. As mentioned before, Enceladus is, for the majority, covered in ice with an ocean that lurks beneath. Sharing certain similarities with Earth's poles, Enceladus's ice sheet releases vapour and ice grains through any slight crack in the icy surface due to hydrothermal activity. The ice grains that are released have been key during this discovery, as that's where the molecule discovered was found. The molecule that's made up of nitrogen and oxygen released through the cracks of Enceladus's surface, and is also found on Earth in essentially the same way. Earth's hydrothermal activity causes vents located on the ocean's floor to release similar molecules in a similar way. Further exploration and research missions are currently in the works in order to try and understand everything we can about this moon. These research missions will hopefully uncover more about Enceladus, as we really don't know the extent of what other essential molecules and signs of life there could be. So much more is left to be discovered, and it could potentially be one of the keys to understanding potential life elsewhere in the solar system and universe. Furthermore, with potential for life being found in a couple of different locations around our solar system, this only enforces the idea that surely there has to be an intelligent life force somewhere in the universe. Also, with this glimmer of potential life on Enceladus, it could point to ancient life existing long before us, with these locations once being hospitable and home to some form of life. The History of Saturn's Moons Saturn is famous for its ring structure, but it's known that it also has at least 82 moons. Of the 82 moons that orbit Saturn, 53 are officially confirmed and named, the remaining 29 awaiting formal recognition and naming. Identification of unnamed moons is based on numerical titles relating to the year in which the individual moon was discovered. Saturn's moons have been discovered at different points throughout history, from the 1600s until most recently, 2019. 
eight of Saturn's major moons and their dates of discovery include Titan, discovered on the 25th of March, 1655 Dion, discovered on the 21st of March, 1684 by Giovanni Castini Enceladus, first recognised on the 28th of August, 1789 Hyperion, which was first spotted by William Lassell in 1848 Iapetus, first recognised by Giovanni Cassini on the 25th of October, 1671. Mimas, spotted through a reflector telescope by William Herschel on the 17th of September, 1789. Rhea, discovered by Giovanni Cassini on the 23rd of December, 1672. And Tethys, first recognised by Giovanni Cassini on the 21st of March, 1684. Titan was the first moon known to orbit Saturn after being discovered in 1655 by a Dutch astronomer. Additionally, the discovery of Titan marked the sixth recognised planetary satellite, following Earth's moon and Jupiter's four Galilean moons. Despite its 16th century discovery, Titan is more than 4 billion years old. Larger than the planet Mercury, Titan is recognised as a giant moon, the largest of all of Saturn's 82 moons. Remarkably, of the over 150 recognised moons amongst our solar system, Titan is alone in having a substantial atmosphere. Alongside this, Saturn's Titan has rivers, lakes and seas. The only other planet known to share the same surface water features is Earth. Further, similar to Earth, most of Titan's atmosphere is made up of nitrogen. These shared features could suggest that this moon may be able to harbour life, although this is yet to be discovered. However, Titan isn't the only interesting moon orbiting Saturn. For example, Iapetus is occasionally nicknamed Yin and Yang due to its two distinctively contrasting sides. Iapetus's leading hemisphere is extremely dark, compared to its very bright trailing hemisphere. Furthermore, the surface of Enceladus, another of Saturn's major moons, has craters expanding approximately 22 miles or 35 kilometres, suggesting that historically, the planet has experienced significant resurfacing events. Many of Saturn's moons were formed concurrently with the rest of our solar system, being over 4 billion years old. This age can be recognised through detection of extensive surface craters, particularly in the larger of Saturn's moons. However, some of the moons suggest a younger age, at approximately 100 million years old. Another method of age calculation is to assess the distance at which the moons orbit Saturn. Over time, gravity causes the orbits of satellites to be pushed outwards, further into space. This theory suggests that the further the moon has drifted away from Saturn's rings, the older the moon is. However, this slightly conflicts the suggestion of age through surface craters. Overall, the history of Saturn's system remains to pose questions. Why are the inner moons drifting away from Saturn so quickly? Across our solar system and even beyond, moons are slowly but surely moving away from the planet they orbit. This happens as a moon is orbiting the planet, the moon's own gravity causes a temporary protrusion in the planet it's orbiting. As this continues to happen over a prolonged period of time, the energy created from this causes the moons to be slightly pushed further and further away. Whilst we're going to be talking about Saturn and its moons, this is happening much closer to home with our own moon. As our moon orbits the Earth, its gravity pulls, and as a result, our moon is being pushed away at a rate of around one and a half inches per year. For the longest time, scientists believed they knew the rate at which Titan was being pushed away from Saturn itself. However, after using new data obtained by the Cassini spacecraft, it's now thought that Titan is moving away from Saturn at an astonishing 100 times quicker than based on previous research. 
This new ray is at around 4 inches away from Saturn a year. This process, dubbed moon migration, applies to many planets and moons across the solar system and observable universe. So this breakthrough and re-evaluation is very important for determining the speed of moon migration everywhere. It was previously thought that the moon systems such as that of Saturn's, the moons in the outer orbit, the furthest away from Saturn, would be pushed away during the process of moon migration slower than planets closer because they're further away from Saturn's gravity. This new data confirmed a theory put forward a few years ago, suggesting that moons can move at different speeds given different conditions, and could be moving away faster despite being further away from the planet. Whilst this discovery might seem slightly insignificant in the grand scheme of things, it actually may help to give us further insight into how the early universe looked and acted billions of years ago. Saturn was formed around 4.5 billion years ago, when our solar system was in its infancy. However, not much is known about the origin dates of Saturn's rings and its large number of moons. The largest moon of Saturn, Titan, is estimated to be around 759,000 miles away from Saturn itself. At the rate Titan is now believed to be moving away from Saturn, it's been theorised that the second largest natural satellite in our solar system may have originally been much closer to Saturn. This is fascinating stuff, and amazing that all this comes from a small breakthrough. It's completely shaken up how we estimate movements in the universe, and it could really help in the pursuit of mapping the solar system throughout its entire early life. So what do you make of these interesting Saturn discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.